In this video, we present Sean, a simple but effective building block that enables per region style control for GANs conditioned on segmentation masks. Image to image translation is an umbrella concept that can be used to describe many problems in computer vision and computer graphics. Among them, semantic image synthesis is particularly useful as it enables easy user control by modifying the input semantic layout image. To date, the best architecture is SPADE. In a nutshell, SPADE synthesizes an image by two inputs. First, a style code extracted by an image encoder or sampled from a noise distribution. Second, a segmentation mask that is used to modulate the scales and biases of the generator activations. However, by analyzing SPADE results, we found two shortcomings that we would like to improve upon. First, SPADE uses only one style code to control the entire style of an image, which is not sufficient for high-quality synthesis or detailed control. Second, inserting style information only in the beginning of a network is not a good architecture choice. Correspondingly, we propose two modifications on SPADE. First, use one style code per region rather than one style code per image. Second, inject style information at multiple locations in the architecture instead of only at the beginning. To implement these ideas, we propose Sean, a normalization layer that modulates the scales and biases of the generator activations by both the per region style code matrix ST and segmentation mask M. In more detail, the style code matrix ST undergoes a per style convolution and the style codes are then broadcast to their corresponding regions according to M to yield a style map. Both the style map and segmentation mask will be passed through separate convolutional layers to generate the modulation parameters. We model the network training as reconstructing the input image by its corresponding segmentation mask and the extracted per region style codes. During inference, our model allows highly flexible image synthesis by using an arbitrary segmentation mask and selecting separate style codes for each semantic region. Here is an example of our face image editing results. By controlling the style code of the corresponding semantic regions, we can edit the hair, mouth and eyes, skin tone and background of the input image respectively. Compared with SPADE, our method is better suited to encode, transfer and synthesize style in terms of reconstruction quality, variability and visual quality. Now we show a sequence of style interpolation results with fixed layouts. Finally, we will introduce our user interface for face editing. To the left, we show the current style image from which we extract per region style codes. In the middle, we show the current segmentation mask. To the right, we show the current result. Here, we show editing results, where all style codes are obtained from a single style image. Note how our method can capture the essence of elements such as hairstyle, skin tone, background, and eyes in a per region style code and transfer it to a face segmentation mask with very different region shapes. The following is an editing sequence where style codes are selected from different images. For example, we can change the hairstyle, the eyes, the mouth, background and clothing. We can also modify the final result by painting changes to the segmentation mask. For example, we can extend the hair region to the right and then paint hair bangs on the forehead. Our code is available on GitHub. Thank you for your attention.